Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Mystery Box Monday. I hope everyone's having a very pleasant Monday. It is Thanksgiving week, so we're going to kick this off with the Mystery Box Monday. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packages, I think. So it's a packed Mystery Box Monday. By the way, if you have a Mystery Box product that you're trying to sell on eBay or Instagram or whatever, and you'd like me to open it up here on the channel... You can send it to me, attention, Mystery Box Monday, P.O. Box 402, Pleasant Unity, PA 15676, and we'll get it opened up and um, see what we can find in there. So I pre-opened a couple of these just to get this roll. And this first one, I didn't see a note in here. It is from, doesn't have a name, it just says uh, their return address in League City, Texas. So let's go ahead and see what we've got in this very first one. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. I hope everyone's having a very pleasant day. There's the note. Looks like this is called the uh, the Pal Packs box, Series 1. The note says, Dear Mr. Eric Jabs, I took a hiatus from collecting after the junk wax here, and I recently got back in the baseball card hobby after watching your channel about a year ago. I enjoy watching your channel and Mystery Box Monday, and it really struck my interest in trying to do my own Mystery Box product. This is the first series of PAL packs, and I plan on continuing with many other pack series. I welcome any criticism to further improve my PAL packs. My next series will be in a similar format, but will include more of a Jeremy Pena and Jordan Alvarez and J-Rod rookie card um, slant. It says, I was also thinking about inserting some vintage cards like Schmidt, Yout, Brett, Morris, Carew, Ripken, etc., and I would like to do the next ch uh, series on the channel here as an exclusive. It says, so if that's something you'd be interested in doing, he's got his contact information down there, which we won't show. Um, but there it is, Patley underscore 27. And if you'd like to grab one of these for yourself, it's 144-813-488-831. We'll bring that up. So, Patley, thank you very much. Let's see what we have in here. This is a 50, what do you say, a $50 pack, I think it was. Is there a price on this? I don't know. I don't think it gave us a price. So let's see what we have. There's a thank you pack. Here is the sales sheet. 30 baseball mystery pal packs were made up. And you can see you'll get an autograph, a numbered card, a relic, a current rookie, etc. Chance to pull a PSA 9 or 10 or one of the chase cards of Judge or Shohei Otani. So let's see what we have here in this pal pack. Again, I'm not sure the price of... You guys want to look it up and drop it in the comments what this goes for? I guess maybe I'll guess the price of it. Uh, all right, so let's see what we have here. We have our manufactured relic. Corey Kluber out of 99 from National Treasures and an autograph of Kevin Smith from Bowman Chrome 2020. Nice one right there. Laody Tavares. I once had that in a one-of-one, one, that Laody Tavares exact same card. The rookie card from Stadium Club. So this is, looks like it's going to be a rookie pack right there, Stephen Kwan. And Jazz Chisholm, Hunter Green rookie, and Harrison Bader, Bowman Chrome rookie card. Let's see what else we have in here. Bowman Chrome coming out this Wednesday. I just ordered some cases of that, so that'll be coming up. We've got a Buster Posey gold card. Number to 50, Michael McGreevy's a good one. That's his Chrome first. You Darvish, Andres Jimenez rookie card, a Torkelson, Cal Rally, and O'Neill Cruz rookie card is a nice one as well. Our slab is going to be a PSA 9 of Luis Robert in 2020. Tops Chrome. So I would guess this is probably a, I don't know. What do you think, folks? What do you think that's? $40 box plus shipping? Somewhere in there? That's just a guess. Let's see what we have in the thank you pack. Thank you very much for sending this over. Occasionally, some sellers will include some cards for me for the PC or to auction off. We got some bucko cards here. Jack Sawinski. I'll put that one aside for Heather. That's her favorite player. Andy Van Slyke, nice 1995 Fleer Ultra. There's the rookie of Van Slyke and a Barry Bonds rookie as well. So I really appreciate that. I'll turn around and put it up in my little PC covered up here. And uh, Pal Packs, thank you very much. Check them out, folks, if you'd like to grab one of those for yourself. This next one was in a large box, so I ripped it open to save a little bit of time because we do have a lot to open up. And this is what was inside. So it's prototype, and there's a note in here as well. This is from John Franco. It says, hello, my name is John Franco, and I have recently joined your channel. Welcome, John. Thanks for signing up. It says, long time, first time reaching out. 
to tell you that. Eric, you've taught me so much, and I watch your channel with my morning coffee daily. Very nice. Thank you so much for tuning in every day. The bigger box inside is all for you as a thank you for keeping the hobby alive and being a friend on the tube. The small box is a prototype of what the mystery packs will contain. They'll be $50 a piece, and you're guaranteed to make at least 3X. That's pretty good. Numbered cards, rookies, autos, lots of color. Please note there's no amount of inserts, autos that are guaranteed. It's just going to, he's going to give us 3X value. It says um, the man made packs are retail and hobby. Uh, packs are inserted randomly. There's three chasers, three to redemptions will be inserted. He's launching them on Black Friday. That's this Friday. His eBay username is Nathy5354. Some people will receive packages and some will receive padded envelopes, depending, I guess, on the weight. If you do not receive at least 3X on uh, return, if you don't get 3X return, he's going to refund you. Your, wow, that's that's an amazing guarantee right there, folks. So um, it's always really helpful if uh, we have an eBay number to, to type in. It, I mean, if you if you type in Nathy5354, you might not get anything coming up on eBay. So, uh, John, if you want to get in the comments once you get this listed and uh, just drop the, uh, the eBay code there, not the link because links are blocked, but if you just drop the eBay code, just the, uh, it's like a, what is it, 12-digit number or something like that. That would be awesome to help people find your product. 3X is pretty amazing. So he also included a thank you here. So let's do these first. We have a Aaron Judge tin with some cards for me. And let's take a look at this. Al Kaline Mosaic. I just ordered a couple cases of Mosaic Choice. There's a Louis Robert rookie card and the Gold Cup as well. Got a Mickey Mantle. Alan, man, that's a nice card. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Awesome card right there. Reggie Jackson, 87 Fleer Bonds. Rick Farrell, that's going to be a numbered out of 25. A Mantle 1960 Tops reprint Griffey. Another Griffey. Love Griffey cards. Wander Franco. Very nice. This is a little um, complete set variation pack right there. That's awesome. Love that. Uh, those cards are pretty nice. We have an NPB. An 18 Chrome pack. And gar a Garbage Pell Kids pack as well with Super Pac-Man. I don't know anything about this. Is this something that I should be opening up or should I be keeping this sealed? What year is this even from? Super Pac-Man 1982. Folks, I, I think somebody out there is telling me to open it up. Should I open it? I don't know much about this. I only really know much about baseball. I, I used to collect Garbage Pell Kids as a kid as well. Let's open it up and see what this is about. 82 Pac-Man cards. There's some gum, which I will not be eating. It does not look all that great. And it looks like they're sticker cards, kind of just like Garbage Pail Kids, how those were stickers, and they have a little Pac-Man game there as well. So that's kind of cool. I never even knew they made those. And we have some packs right here as well. Mosaic bonus pack. Let's rip these open. Then we'll get into the, uh, the other stuff here, the prototype box. We have some pink parallels right here. Best one there is probably going to be the Ben Attendee. We have the NPB baseball pack. These are from those mystery tins that we saw. I want a Brandon card. Just, uh, I thought that was pretty funny. There's Tyler Austin, former big leaguer right there. I'm just looking for former big leaguers. I don't know any of the other guys on those cards. I don't follow NPB. Here's a 2018 Chrome pack. Folks, this is a pretty amazing pack right here. Let's see if we can find any of the big rookies. These boxes are extremely expensive, as you know, with the Shohei Otani rookie card in there. Unfortunately, we did not hit a rookie in that one. There is a little gift here. For me, a toothless Garbage Pail Kids. For the kiddos right here, we have some, it looks like, Pokemon cards. And Heather gets a toothless as well. That's pretty nice. I'm heading over there here in just a minute or two. We're going to be celebrating Timmy's birthday so I will put that aside for her. I'll actually throw it in my pocket right now so I don't forget it. Thank you very much for that, John. Now let's check out his prototype here. And I don't know what's going to be in here, but he said 3X. Could be autos, could be relics, could be graded cards, colored cards, all kinds of stuff. This is going live on Black Friday, which is just, what, four days away now? And let's see what we have. The question is, will we get 3X? He's going to refund your money if you don't get 3X. So let me know in the comments if you think we got 3X here or not. And if uh, if not, tell me what we got. Did we get 2X? Did we get 4X? 
So basically a $50 box. We are looking for $150 in value. We've got a Kyle Lewis National Baseball Card Day rookie. Albert Pujols Gold. We've got a, that's an 08 card, by the way. We've got a O'Neill Cruz Pink and a Casey Mize short print in there as well. Next up, we've got a Reese Hoskins. This is going to be a manufactured patch. Nice, big, thick card there with some other inserts. We've got Alex Gordon, Benny Bombs, Vinny Pasquatino, uh, Taylor Trammell Red. That's going to be numbered out of 372. Josh Hamilton rookie card. Spencer Strider Green Parallel and Tim Lincecum rookie card. We've got a Bobby Witt Jr., uh, Prism, red, white, and blue parallel. There's Willie Stargell, number out of 125. Babe Ruth, Prism, Willie McCovey, and Braxton Garrett. So lots of refractors and color and parallels. And there's a nice J-Rod from 2022. Chrome Juan Soto, rookie card right there. Very, very nice. Davy Garcia. We've got Giovanni Moran and Tim Hudson right there as well. And then we have some unopened packs. We have a... This is going to be a retail pack from a blaster box of 2022 Tops um, update. You can see the stars of MLB, which tells you it's retail. Let's see if we can get the J Rod. We do have a gold card in here. It is going to be a Bradley Miller. So if you're wondering how you know if it's hobby or retail, there would be a little H with a little circle around it on the front of the pack. This is also a blaster box or retail pack. It's a 2019, though. We'll see if we can find any of the good rookies in there, like Vlad Jr. or maybe a rookie debut of Fernando Tatis Jr. There's Cody Bellinger. He's a free agent. Hey, we got a Pete Alonso. Nice one right there. We'll put that one aside. And Austin Riley as well. So two nice rookies. We have a Prism Draft Picks bonus pack right here. And uh, it's going to come down to that last pack. Looks like it's some basketball right there. Zion Williamson. I don't know much about basketball, but I do know that name. I'm not sure if there's a bunch of value to this or not. Zion Williamson. That could potentially be worth some money. Let me know if that's – I don't, don't see a rookie card logo on it. And here is the last pack. We've got a Shohei Otani. On fire insert, Bobby Witt Jr., Wander Franco, and an O'Neill Cruz short print right there. Very, very nice stuff. So, folks, that's a $50 pack. The big question is, I want to hear from you. And, John, this is a prototype, so this is just a test run. Was there $150 in value there? Hmm. I'm going to say, John, I really appreciate you sending this in, but I think – that it did come up a little bit short. Maybe I'm wrong, so let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. But I, th I, I think definitely fit, there was at least fifty dollars of value there. But I, the one fifty, I don't think uh, we were quite there. So let me know, folks, in the comments. Would love to hear from you. All right, next we have William B with this nice big box here, and it's uh, looks like it's a maybe a granola bar box or something. That's pretty smart. Reuse that box for shipping purposes. Let's see if I can get it opened up here. I pre-opened a few of these boxes to save a little bit of time. And inside this box, we have some more mystery packs. Maybe one big mystery pack here. So thank you for sending this over, William. Let's check it out. There's a note right here. It is a handwritten note. There's also a personal note, which I'll put aside and read that later on this evening. This is a... $120 pack. He made 25 packs, has been watching the channel for years. I never quit the hobby. Been collecting since 85, was a dealer 88 to 05, and kept collecting till now. He bought a storage locker with a lot of newer graded cards five years ago or so, and lots of jersey cards, and I have a lot of rookies from the 80s. So he's making 26 mystery packs. Each pack will have $100 to 140 in value. Each will have a Griffey rookie, and uh, it will be a 1989 upper deck. Five will be an 89 upper deck. Each will have a Wander rookie card and a J-Rod prospect card. Each will have a vintage card, three memorabilia cards, a graded nine or better, three or more rookie cards from the 80s. You can see some of the names right there. So there's 25 total packs, $120 each, and each pack's giving 100 to 140 in value. Each pack will have at least 30 or three of the rookie cards listed. Not every pack will have all the 80s rookie cards. So let's check this out. One thing I noticed here is do you tell us where to get this at 
I don't see that anywhere on the note. Typically, someone will say, I sell it here on Instagram or I sell it on my Facebook page or you can send me an email here. We can go outside of eBay or they'll provide the eBay code. So, hey, let us know exactly, William, where folks should contact you to buy this product because you may have 25 interested people that would maybe try to give this a go. 120 bucks. We've got Wander Franco leading things off. J Rod Prospect card from 2020. Chroma Juan Soda rookie card. Really nice card there from Toss Fire 2018 and a Brandon Marsh as well in there in the first pack. Next up, we've got a Barry Larkin rookie from 87 Don Russ. There's a Sosa card. That's that 90 score. Young superstar set. That, that's one you don't see all the time. Kirby Puckett rookie card. Very nice. Love that one. 85 Don Russ. A Bonds rookie from 87 Fleer. There's the Griffey. 89 Tops update. And a nice, oh, this is a good card here in great condition. Nolan Ryan and Tom Seaver, 1977 Tops card. Awesome, awesome card. Next up, we've got a Roger Clemens game worn jersey. We have a. Paul Molitor game worn jersey and a Barry Bond. So that's uh that's three really top notch players right there. Seven MVPs, seven Cy Youngs, and a Hall of Famer in there. Who knows? Maybe, just maybe, one day Bonds and Clemens will be in. They're gonna be up uh, for vote this uh, coming this month, I think, and next month in December. They're on the ballot again. And inside here we have a graded card of Ronald Acuna Jr. It's his rookie debut in a PSA nine from 2018 update and a Nolan Ryan. Looks like it is a special edition commemorative ticket stub from his seventh no-hitter. So that's a cool little extra right there. So, folks, I'm not sure where to point you to get that product. Uh, so, William, let us know um, in the comments so we can send people the right way. And thank you very, very much for sending that over. And this next one's from Owen. So, Owen, let's check this one out. Uh, hopefully I'll not cut my finger. I kind of smashed my thumb today. <laughs> so just never never have a Monday without any injuries to my hands. It seems like Mystery Box Monday. Try my best not to uh, cut myself. I did bring a pair of scissors down today in case they're warranted. All right, we have a note here with this next one. Let's read it to you. It says, Dear Jabs family, I made these packs just for you. I put a bunch of different types of cards, and I hope you like the packs. I've added an extra pack to thank you for all of the great videos. Everyone, make sure you like and subscribe to Jabs family from Owen, who's 10 years old, down in Charlotte, North Carolina. Owen, that's awesome, man. Thank you very much. So, Owen put together a couple packs right here. Let us know in the comments, Owen, who you collect, and maybe you can link up with some people make some trades. Look at this. Awesome box baseball. Aaron Judge, Ryan Sandberg, Don Mattingly, 90 Classic, Ozzy Smith, 1986. There's 94 Tops. Series 2 of Frank Thomas and Jeff Bagwell. Dylan Carlson, Tony Santillan. And that's an autograph right there. Tony Santillan. Very nice from Heritage Gavin Lux. We've got Michael McGreevy, game use jersey. He's a good prospect with the Cardinals. Zach Granke, game use jersey. Michael Brantley, Jim Abbott, a Roger Clemens, 87 tops. This card looks like it's seen better days. That kind of looks like some of my cards from back in the day. Brent Rooker. We have a Bailey Ober, Andrew Miller, Mountie, and Yermin Mercedes. So some nice stuff right here. I think, Owen, you may have a uh, maybe a future, maybe putting together some mystery packs and trying to sell these on eBay or something. I know 10 years old, obviously you'd need to have parental permission to do something like that. So... You'd want to use your parents' PayPal account. Thank you, pack of Andy Van Slykes, O'Neill Cruz, and Luis Robert. Very nice stuff right there. So, Owen, thank you for watching the channel. And uh, happy Thanksgiving, man. Thank you very, very much for sending that stuff over. Really cool stuff. We still have five more things to do here at least. I think there's five. Um, yeah, actually there's six. And I'm trying to keep this episode under 30 minutes. Let's check this next one out and see what we have. I know your time is valuable. That's why I try to make most of my videos in the 10 to 20 minute range. All right, so inside here, it's Jaden's Fat Stack Packs. They're back again. I think we've featured them at least a couple times before. So this is Jaden back at it with my $6 packs. These packs contain 12 inserts, two autos, and a numbered card. 
Thank you for everything you've done for this hobby. I've watched your videos for many months, maybe years. Also, these mystery packs contain chasers, which are Griffey, rookies, Juan Soto, second years, Raphael Tevers, rookies, Key Brian Hayes, Alec Bohm, short prints, Bobby Witt, Bo Bichette, Biggio. It says, these are the best mystery packs that I've ever made. I've made 50 of them and have given two to you. There's 48 left. If you want to grab one, here's the code. On eBay, type in 314-201-079-109, and it will bring it up. It's a $12 pack, so not a ton of risk associated with that. And you can also check his feedback there. And anytime anyone sells on eBay or sends us something from eBay, I will always tell you, check all of your feedback and make sure that people are happy with their product. We have an autograph of Clint Robinson in there. Bryson Stott, rookie card. Here's Yvonne Rodriguez. Jake Berger, Joe Cronin. And Robbie Ray, last card is going to be our second autograph. Justin O'Connor from way back. What's that, 2011 Bowman? I think it is, 2010 Bowman. All right, next up, we have another Jaden Spat Stack pack here with two autographs. There's Pete Alonso on the top, Buster Posey Green, Randy Johnson. We've got an upside down card, probably going to be an autograph. It is, uh, it's a first Bowman card. That's a printed auto on there, though, of Yo Hermine Chavez. Um, all those 2010s have um, them printed, unless they're in a certain color ink. There's Will Clark. We've got Chris Sale. And last but not least, there's the autograph, a Dickie Joe Thon. So I think maybe this maybe tricked, um, maybe tricked uh, Jane there. If it doesn't say top certified autograph issue, it's just a printed on there auto. But still pretty cool stuff right there. Thank you, Pack, right here. If you're ever unsure about an autograph from Tops, check the card. Make sure it says top certified issue. Just a, a tip. There's a Chipper Jones, 91 Tops. Rookie card. We got a Frank Thomas rookie and a Pete Alonso rookie. So some nice cards in there. I love my rookie cards, Jane. You know that. And you picked out some really nice ones right there. Check them out on eBay if you'd like to check that pack out. Check the feedback and give it a try, folks. And next we have Mitchell Phillips coming in next at spot. What are we at now? Like spot number six in the order? Seven in the order, something like that. Let's see what we have from Mitchell here. There is a nice pack. By the way, I have another. Somebody sent me another box. It's like a $300 box. I think I'm going to save that one for its own video. This is a G-Man baseball card. That's a pretty cool logo that you made right there. It says, thank you for your purchase. Let's check it out. It says, hello there. Thanks for taking time to review our first ever G-Man baseball variety pack. My son and I decided to put these together since we've had so much fun opening cards together the past few months. We wanted to build some packs that we would enjoy ripping by including all of our favorite players. Each pack contains 30 cards featuring the hottest names in the game. There's no chase cards, but we hope you'll enjoy what we've included. We look forward to hearing your review and seeing what you get. We also added a thank you pack, which isn't in a normal order. In each pack, you'll have 17 star players, 10 rookies, one numbered card, one auto, and one star rookie card. The players could be Judge, Tatis, Trout, Harper, Acuna, Vladdy, Shohei, or Soto, etc. You've got the top rookies that could be included right there, and the star rookie card could be a J-Rod, Wander Franco, O'Neill Cruz, or Bobby Witt Jr. And if you'd like to grab one of these... Type in this code on eBay, 234-760-395-894, and that will bring this right up so long that it's not already sold out. So let's check it out. Does it give us a price point? I don't think it does. So you have to let me know in the comments what this is selling for. I guess I'll try to guess. If people don't tell me, then sometimes I will try to guess. All right, so let's see what we have here. We have our star pack. These will be your judges and your trouts and Otanis and such. There's judge leading things off. You're on Alvarez. Nice X-Fractor card right there from 2022 Chrome. Luis Robert, Ricky Henderson. We've got a Spencer Strider rookie card in there. He was a runner-up for the rookie of the year to his teammate Michael Harris. Mike Trout. There's Trout. Wouldn't be a star pack without Trout in there. And a Nolan Ryan artist proof. All right. So this is where it's going to – most of the value is going to start coming out here with the rookies and hits base star cards a lot of times you'll be able to find those in the 10 cent box or quarter box but the uh top notch rookie cards these are the ones you're going to pay some money for jeremy pena 87 tops is a nice card Luis robert rookie tanner Houck. we've got tyler gilbert rookie card along with william Contreras, who's an all-star john heasley cal rally had a nice breakout season Otto lopez and randy rosarena that's a gold cup card all right let's check out the hits 
this man we got a j-rod on the top very very nice julio rodriguez rookie card luis garcia that's gonna be a gray numbered card out of 99 and last but not least we have jake mccarthy 2022 tops fire it's not numbered but uh man some nice cards there i am going to guess this is a total guess i'm gonna guess this is a 30 dollar pack i don't know let me know in the comments without looking don't cheat Look in the um, or leave your comment what you think this one would sell for. I think you can go and pick one up for yourself. Let's check out the thank you pack here. Thank you very much for sending this. Very kind of you. Really appreciate that. G Man Mystery Packs. O'Neill Cruz, you know what I like. O'Neill Cruz rookie cards are a PC of mine, and that is from a vending box right there. And man, one of my biggest regrets is buying like 10 vending box cases. I have so many of them, and I don't know what to do with them. Very nice card. There's an Edgar Caro first. We've got a, an Andrew Vaughn, Sterling rookie card. Johan Rojas, Sterling rookie. O'Neill Cruz rookie right there. C.J. Abrams. We've got a Yordi rookie card. And Shane McClanahan, so some really nice cards in the thank you pack. Put that up in the PC cabinet. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, G-Man. Check them out. And uh, we're moving on. we got a few more to go. This next one is coming from... John Franco, again, a second one. John Franco, number two. All right. Let's see what we have. So we had John Franco, number one, that we did. I think it was, was it our second box? Let's see what we have here in this next one. So John Franco, box number two. I think I got everything on out of there right now. All right, let's see what we have here. John, there is a... Man, looks like this might be the upgraded version. So we had a prototype version earlier. And this looks like it might be the upgraded version. Let's check it out. We got a 4U pack there, a little thank you pack. Some nice stuff right here as well. Let's check this note out. The note says, first and foremost, shout out to Jab's family and please subscribe. He's the best. Thank you. So this is my first time on trying to make a small living off of this. And I want you to trust me because I know that trust is earned and not given. Thank you for the uh, taking the time to look around. Please enjoy. Thanks everyone for stopping by. He's, uh, this is going to be now the J&L Joker's Wild Mystery Packs. There's 50 packs. There's $75. These packs are chock full of packs, man-made packs, autos, etc. Lots of color. So it's still going live on Black Friday, except now it looks like it's got a name and it's got a nice heat sealed pack right there. And he's got a Joker that if you find it, uh, you've received a wild pack. And there's um, a whole bunch of good stuff in here. It's the grand prize to be determined. So let's see what we have here. $75. The last, there's we have a card number seven, seven of hearts. So we did not get a Joker pack. That's out there for one of you guys to find on ebay and again they're going uh going live he's got a name now so it'll be easier to find you can type that name in on ebay seven hearts is concealing eddie rosario we have an al bundy cracker jack card there paul o'neill autograph how cool is that that's a great card right there wow man that's a nice one that's a wander franco case hit wander franco 2022 chrome rookie relic this is, you get one of these per case. That, you know what? I've opened some, I don't, actually there might be less than one per case because I don't think I've pulled one of these yet. Man, that's an awesome card right there. Are they case hits in Chrome? Man. Oh, it's a complete set. It's from 2022 Tops Baseball complete set. So maybe that's why I haven't pulled one. I guess you get one of these in the complete set. So it's not going to be extremely crazy, crazy valuable like I thought. I thought it was, um, you know, like with Chrome, you'll get like a case hit. I'm glad I read the back. I think Target may give those out in their complete set. Still an awesome card. We have some rookie cards here. All the good rookies from 2022 Bowman are in there, which is very nice. Wilmon Diaz out of $3.99 as well. And we have more packs. So 75 bucks, you'll get a whole bunch of, looks like, prospects and some nice ones in here as well. Arteaga is a really good prospect. Max Muncy first and Colson Montgomery, who's a first-round pick. Of course, Torkelson has a whole bunch of hype on his name. Has not really capitalized on that yet. His first season was a bust in the big leagues. we got Matt Olson. we got John Means, Brandon Marsh, Lucas Giolito, Will Smith. There's Ichiro. Hey, Bryce Harper, that's a short print. I don't think I've – actually, that's an all-star game stamp card right there. Um, that must be a 
chrome um, photo variation card from the chrome complete set or what what is that exactly it says uh yeah chrome in there pretty cool stuff and jared kelnick nice to see cards that i've never seen before all right next we've got turkey red ken griffey jr on the front bob feller jonathan class a there's bryson stott a nice batting helmet card of aloy jimenez and mickey mantle is in there as well we have our Um, top loaded pack here got a Yanni Hernandez auto in there along with a CC Sabathia red numbered out of 100 some garbage pill kids garbage pill kids chrome we got metal Matt and Roy bot <laughs> that's that's pretty cool I used to love garbage pill kids when I was a kid and we have a retail pack of 2018 gypsy queen I don't think Otani's in the 18 gypsy queen set but let's see what we can find there's a med Rosario. that's a nice one and Albert Pujols is the last card there, along with a thank you pack. A couple extra cards. Looks like we have some parallels of Packy Naughton, Tim Anderson, and Cal Ripken Jr. And we have a Mickey Mantle card here. Looks like a 1961 Topps back. Man, that's a nice card there. 70 Years of Topps, 2018 design. You got the, uh, well, I forget what year this one's from. Is it a 68? Uh, I think it might be a 68 original. Uh, or not a, that's not an original but 68 like play ball set we got hank garen and mickey mantle right there and there's that um mickey mantle sporting news card there's the back of the card that's a 61 back that's uh that's some really nice stuff there thank you very much for sending those over so john franco check them out folks on black friday these are going live if you'd like to try them out the name is j and l joker's wild mystery packs he's made 50 packs up do not have an ebay code to give you all right, so we've got time for probably one more. These next two, I'm going to save these for next week. And um, we have one final one here. This is Mark's Mystery Packs. It, it, uh, he sent me a note and said, Thanks for all you do, and thanks for everyone who provided feedback on my first series. And a shout-out for Dave Durango for naming Mark's Mystery Packs going forward. It, it was originally Mark's Cards, but there's another company named that that has some negative mojo on their name it says he's working on a second series of cards here and this is the vintage edition the cards will be from the 1960s to 2007 and each pack's gonna have 12 vintage cards and uh, they're gonna be from the 60s to 73 with a few 50s mixed in now he said that there's a he made 22 packs sent him over he said one is for you so feel free to pick one so i just randomly picked one pack i don't know what's in here at all um, but this is just kind of a preview, and if you guys like it, we can do this as maybe a throwback Thursday this week and do all of them since it's all vintage cards. Man, there's a Griffey on the top. Looks like I picked a good pack. Very nice stuff right there. We've got a Ken Griffey June Hoyt Wilhelm 70 tops. Very nice. Love the older stuff. Let's see how much old stuff is in here. There's a Matt Kemp. We've got Ron Kittle. Through the mail autograph right there, Troy Percival. Rod Carew, nice 1976 Topps card. A 1980 Topps of Reggie Jackson. There's a Willie Wilson. Dave Winfield, 82. Ricky Henderson, 80. That's an 84 Topps card. Nolan Ryan, super veterans card. I think that's an, that's an 83. George Brett, 84. Cal Ripken, 80, 85 Topps All-Star. David Ardsma. We've got a Griffey, 90. Tom Glavin, Randy Johnson. B.J. Upton autograph. Jeff Bagwell, Vlad Jr. Man, this is a nice uh, nice product here. And the Barry Bonds, folks. I swear I just picked one out. <laughs> I know people are probably like, you gave that one to Jabs on purpose because you know he loves that card. I just picked the first one off the top, and it had the Bonds in there. Let's check what else we have. We have a slab card there of Andrew Jones, 1997. It's a BGS, a Beckett 8. Really cool card right there. Is this one of those uh, – this is one of those – jersey fusion cards where they give you a piece of the jersey as well pretty cool stuff right there a nice andrew jones and we have our last pack of vintage hoyt wilhelm 70 dave marshall and we have roy hansen 71 cards right here harman killebrew and carl yastrzemski on there some hall of famers mickey Mantle. look at this one ronnie klein 57 joe gibbon vada pinson and Barry Latman, so some nice cards right there. And if you're wondering what the price point of that is going to be, it looks like it's probably going to be um, 
probably just under $40 after the PayPal fees and shipping are factored in. So some really nice stuff right there from Mark. And um, folks, it's 35 minutes in. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Mystery Box Monday. I got to go run now. Going to be meeting Heather for dinner. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your Monday. And I will see you all tomorrow. Hopefully I'll have a new release for you. I'm looking forward to some 2022 Tops Mini tomorrow. And then maybe some more new releases on Wednesday with uh, what we got, Bowman, uh, Bowman Chrome, Mosaic Choice, Heritage Miners, a whole bunch of stuff coming out right before Thanksgiving. So have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.